Okay, I'm going to do a few videos of the trickiest questions that we did today in the practice one paper, paper one practice for the June exam. Let's take a look at this sigma notation problem. Now, it is pretty, it's really kind of tricky because, you know, whenever they don't start at one, you know, if you start at one, here, then you're supposed to put consecutive numbers in there. So you'd go one, two, three, four, and you'd end here. But if you start at two, if you start at two, you're not going to have this many numbers here. There's a way to always figure out what n is. Say there was a number seven there. You go seven minus two, and then you add one to figure out how many there are. Say there was six. You go six minus two, you'd add one, and that'd be five terms. That makes sense because you'd put in two, three, four, five, six. That's five terms. But here, you've got n terms, but you have to do the same darn thing. The number of terms here is um, n minus 2 plus 1. So the number of terms in this sequence is n minus 1. Now, the easiest, they do this three different ways. It is a little bit easier using this formula. The first term plus the last term times n, minus, n divided by 2. That's the form for an arithmetic sum like this. Now, how do we know it's 1 minus 1 and minus 3? Well, all you do is take 2, put it in there. 2 times 2, well, that gives you 5 minus 4 is 1. Put in 3, you get negative 1. Put in 4. Uh, sorry, put in, yeah, 4, you get negative 3. You can see that it's going down by 2. And, oh, minus 2k. So that now we've got what d is. d is minus 2. a is 1. And the number of terms is n minus 1. So that's all we do. We fill it in. The number of terms n is n minus 1. The first term is 1. We don't even need d. We, if we could figure out what the last term is, what do we do for that? Oh, to figure out any term, the very last term, all we do is take the first term, which is 1, the number of terms, which is a little tricky here, n minus 1, and subtract 1 here. So we get n minus 2 times minus 2 here gives you 4, plus 1 is 5. And then minus 2 times n gives you minus 2n. There's the last term, the first term plus the last term. Well, that's 6 minus 2n. Oh, 6 minus 2n, we can factor out 2, and these 2s will cancel. Then you just get this. Then you multiply by 17. These numbers are horrible. You get 68 minus 17 like that, and you've got minus 100. Holy cow, you add 17n squared, you subtract another 68n, and you add this 51. And now, there's no way you would put this into the quadratic formula. Uh, and if you put it in the quadratic formula, you'll get n is 51. That would be the smart. Nobody knows their um, factor tables with 17 and 51. And to, anyways, you would you use a quadratic formula. I'll show you. This is the way I was kind of showing people like how to do it. There's the last term right there, 5 minus 2 n, the first term plus the last term. You could use the other formula, n over 2. You just put n minus 1 in for n. a is 1, so it's 2 times 1. n minus 1 goes in for n, but d is minus 2. And you multiply it out, you get the same thing, 6 minus 2 n. Uh, you factor out 2, you get 3 minus n, the 2's cancel. Everything goes... But you would actually use the quadratic formula. Most people would. And what would that look like? Like this. You just stick the numbers into the quadratic formula, and out comes 51. And the other answer is a fraction, and that can't be true. That was a pretty na um, nasty question just for the numbers and the way it works out. But the, I think the secret to it is this thing. Boy, you can always figure out how many terms you are by going this top number in sigma, minus the bottom number plus one that helps you get started if you miss that ooh, then it's not it wouldn't be so good so there you go